So I've reviewed part one of the Blood and Ice Cream trilogy. Now it's time for part two. So I'll go straight into it. Here's my review of Hot Fuzz. Whereas Shaun of the Dead featured Simon Pegg as a loser and a nobody, this one is completely different. So in Hot Fuzz, Simon Pegg plays um, a character called Nicholas Angel, who is a police officer uh, situated in London. And uh, the other police officers, played by Martin Freeman, Steve Coogan, and the great Bill Nighy, uh, decide, you know, it's time for Nicholas to get sent to somewhere else because he's making them all look bad. And that is exactly how they're told. That's exactly how he was told in this movie. Um, so yeah, they send him to Sanford, where he meets uh, Danny, who is uh, played by Nick Frost again. Uh, another Peg and Frost movie. They're in all the Edgar Wright Blood and Ice Cream trilogy, as you know. So um, yeah, he meets Danny, who's obsessed with action movies such as like Bad Boy and Lethal Weapon. So uh, yeah. He thinks that um, the job is all about car chases and action, and uh, Nicholas sees it differently. But as like a series of grisly murders take over the city, Danny's dream starts to become reality. Um, so yeah, a really good movie, and again, like a really sort of clever way that the movie plays out, where one of them's the straight guy that just you know does the job properly, and Danny wants it to be like a movie, and that's how it starts to play out as like different sort of murders unfold. They start like getting pulled into it and start like the way Danny describes the movies is how like they start to, you know, play out their sort of, you know, roles in the movie. So um, that's what I really liked. And the last shootout is absolutely great. Whereas in Shaun of the Dead, you know, there was a little shootout. Well, not a shootout. There was just one gun and they were shooting at zombies and they blew up the Winchester. Where they done that in Hot Fuzz, it's completely different. There's just a huge shootout between, you know the um, group of uh, like murderers and Peg and Frost. I won't ruin yet who the uh, murderers are and all that because it will come as a great surprise again like the ending of Shaun of the Dead which will probably come as a surprise to most people if you haven't heard of like that but with this one the ending will come as a surprise because um, you know it's just not what you expect you know I won't ruin it for you because if you haven't seen the movie most of you probably have it came out in 2007 and if you haven't seen the movie then what, you need to see what you've been missing out on because like Shaun of the Dead this one will become another cult classic and it probably already has so yeah that I really love this movie also I wouldn't say you know I'm gonna come off like hit straight out and say it that this is not as good as Shaun of the Dead like you're expecting another Shaun of the Dead yeah sure it's a bit like Shaun of the Dead it incorporates the same element such as one of the things in the shop corner oh, no. yeah it incorporates like sort of elements from Shaun of the Dead but I'll, let, I'll come out and say it, this is a completely different movie and you know if you haven't seen it, just see it, it's not like sequels, it's not a sequel, completely different characters, you know, it, like if, if you like Shaun of the Dead you like this, if you like the movie Paul you like this, but I'm just saying, don't expect it to be the same sort of thing because it really isn't, this one's even more surprising than any of those films just because you know once you find out who the murderers are you'll be pretty surprised. And the ending, you know, when you think it's going to end, much like what I said about Monsters University, you know, what you, when you think it's going to end, it just doesn't. But, you know, when most films you actually want them to end because you're bored of them, with this one and with, like, other sort of films like it, such as when I mentioned Monsters University, the end is the best bit. With this one, you think it's going to end and it doesn't, but the ending actually turns out to be the best and funniest part of the movie, which, you know... It's kind of unexpected because you th you're thinking I want this to end, it doesn't, and you know you just get bored waiting. But with this, you know, you're not bored. You th you're thinking, you know, oh, I thought it was going to end there. But I'm pretty glad it didn't because if they didn't have that scene, you know, I wouldn't have loved it as much. But well, you would have, but you know what I mean. Because if you didn't see that scene in the first place, you would have still loved it if you liked it regardless. But you know exactly what I mean when I said that. And uh, again with Shaun of the Dead I mentioned how great the quotes were in this. This has another set of just great quotes and it's absolutely hilarious, you know. Um, 
yeah, I did actually watch this movie last night so I could review it because I hadn't seen it in so long. I'd seen Shaun of the Dead so many times, but Hot Fuzz I've seen about twice or three times now. So, you know, I had to watch it again just so I could review it for you. And yeah, I don't regret watching it again. This is one of those movies along with Shaun of the Dead. I know I keep comparing it to Shaun of the Dead. That's kind of what this is about. It's a comparison between the three movies. I'll definitely be seeing this one this weekend. So I'll be bringing the review to you maybe Sunday or Monday. But uh, yeah, you know, it's sort of a comparison between the, three, the three films. But what I'm saying about this and Shaun of the Dead is uh, like, you know, it's just like not exactly the same, but it's got the same sort of elements, you know. And it's, it's like, as the storyline is kind of like a complete opposite, because like I mentioned, loser in this one, massive hero in this one, but it still plays out the same sort of way. It's still like, you know, my life, you know, I want it to go back to the way it was with this one. But with this one, it's like, I want my life to change. But the way that, you know, they want their lives to go like in different sort of directions, they play it out in the same sort of way with, you know, something happens and you have to sort of, Simon Pegg's character along with Nick Frost have to like sort of stop what's happening and get their life to turn around and that's exactly what both movies do and you know you won't regret seeing it you won't regret seeing either of them and I'm gonna say like I said this isn't as good as Shaun of the Dead if you're expecting another Shaun of the Dead you won't get it here but you know it's still a great movie and it's still a great comedy and it has great action scenes um, if you see it you won't regret seeing it in fact you'll probably laugh your ass off if you watch it for the first time so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna give it four stars out of five I would go 4.5 actually I'm gonna go 4.5 out of five stars because I can't give it a five because I gave Sean the dead that and I'd be contradicting myself but I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of five a thumbs up and another great film from Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg and I respect you guys for that and I'm hoping that the world's end will be the same you'll find out what I thought of it sometime next week so uh, yeah I'm hoping that it's as great as these two and if the trailer's anything to go by it will be and I'm extremely excited so uh, what do you think of Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz which one do you think is better the way around. which one do you think is better I'm not gonna like you know I said I wouldn't do it yet but I'm gonna do it which one do you think is better out of these two comment below what you think subscribe like thank you for watching and yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review. So um, yeah, you'll see more from me like whenever I see The World's End. And uh, yeah, so um, again, thank you for watching.